Hi everyone, it's Katie here at the Worcester Arts Workshop and today we shall be doing some printing with pen. And here's a list of the things that you're going to need. First of all, some paper and card of different colours, a pencil and an eraser, some coloured pens and a black pen, You will need paints, different colours, you can also mix up some colours as well with the tubes that you have. Or you can also use some stamp inks. If you have these with some stamping kits that you have at home, those are good to use as well. A selection of brushes and sponges, I have a toothbrush there as well which makes good effects. And also any other items at home that you can use to make unusual shapes. So I have a whole box of things here in which I have a toy brick, some polystyrene shapes, which I have cut up from something that was in the post and packaging. I have a potato into which I've carved some shapes. You may need a little help doing that and some celery sounds a bit strange but it does make some pretty shapes so give it a try if you have some there is a cork a lolly stick loads of things that i just found around the house so ask your family if you can borrow these bits to paint and use as a stamping or printing implement and then get those together and we'll get started Okay, so now you've got all of your materials together, we'll just have a quick look at the types of shapes and effects that you can achieve. And you can have a little practice on a piece of paper with the pieces you have as well. So you might be able to see that this is the cork from a bottle. This one was those toy bricks. I have a drinking straw, the polystyrene packaging shapes, various sponges. That's the potato and celery printing. And I had a thimble as well, just a rubber thimble, which I used on my finger. And of course you can use your finger as well. The printing's really versatile, and this is just a really simple, quick way of doing some printing. Normally it would be quite lengthy and it would involve multi layers of colors and inks, and it would have to go through a printing press. But this is just some quick ways to achieve some really pretty results. So I did some shapes, thought that one looked a bit like a donut with some really yummy icing on top. A couple of balloons, I might turn that one into a greetings card for somebody. Some more food, I must have been hungry when I did my practice pieces, the ice cream and some cherries. And you might see that actually the the printing isn't exactly within the lines and the lines aren't exactly around the printing but that's quite good to do we want it to be quite unique and fairly carefree so, so this is just an example of all the things you can do just a bird on a nest and also you can go really pretty and delicate I drew a letter K for Katie and added some flowers and some words and a few more flowers okay so now you have all your materials together we can get started and I'm going to start off with a, a bolder piece we'll move on to the delicate ones later and I'm going to do the ice cream again and the first thing you need to do is to draw the outline that you want to have in pen so I'm going to draw my cone with pen and just do some waffle lines and I'm also going to have a chocolate stick. So with a pencil I've just done a little outline of where I want my ice cream to show. And I'm going to do the ice cream itself 
using printing. I think I'll add some other colours. And I'm going to use my circular sponge for the ice cream itself. And I've got some pink and white. And you can mix your colours to get a multi-dimensional feel to it. You can also go over the lines that you've drawn already as well. So that's the ice cream. I'm going to let that dry and once it has dried we can start adding some pen marks to it just to create a little bit of definition. I'm also going to draw a bowl of fruit I think. This fruit's a really good thing you can use for printing. There's so many different shapes and I quite like cherries. So I've just done a little outline of a bowl. You might not be able to see it because I've done this in pencil. So I'm going to just use my circular sponge again and just do two little cherries. So I'll have a little look in my box for some other shapes. a polystyrene oval you can use a brush or a sponge whatever is easiest for you to paint onto your surfaces I'm going to just pop that there and that can be a lemon I think polystyrene and to mix up some colours here press down nice and firm careful it doesn't slide around okay so we need to let this dry but I'm just going to add also some leaves to the cherries and this time I'm using the celery And now I'm going to just take the pen just to create the stalks because we won't be going too far into the paint at this time. And I think I'll also draw the bowl. I think I'll have a blue bowl. that's some fruit. You might like to try an animal. One good one to do is a fish. You just need to draw the mouth. A couple of fins. 
and the tail. Bring that bit nearer for you to see. Just go over that in pen, it's probably a bit easier then for you to have a look. And this is where the celery is really cool for drawing on some fins because and some scales because it's that kind of shape. And celery is a different size the further up the stalk you go. So you can cut them at various stages along. Got a smaller one here. bit like that. So have a play, experiment with what you have already, draw some shapes, add some printing and then we can move on to adding some pen for definition. The next piece we're going to make is the delicate drawing and printing. So that was the initial and pretty word with some flowers around the outside. So I'm going to do a word again and with a pencil on a piece of card I've written the word hello and I'm going to add in my printing shapes. I'm keeping it as pencil for the minute because I want to just add the lines where I want them to show up in particular. So I'm just going to go around, I think I'm going to do flowers again and just add some little blobs and a few printing shapes at various points. Again using celery for the leaves because it creates such a lovely shape. And you can use half of the, the block or the shape that you have. You don't have to press down the whole side. You can see I'm just getting some smaller shapes. If I push it down all at once it's larger. Add some leaves around. I will take a sponge this time. And I've just got a little bit on the, the pointed edge of the blue. And you just need to be really gentle. And wherever you want the flowers to be, or whichever shapes you're going to use, you could do hearts or butterflies maybe, that would be quite good. Just go around your word or your initial, if you're doing your own initial. And then we can have a little look once it's all dry and we can add the pen. So carry on with that and I'm going to carry on with mine.
Right, so I've finished adding my stamps and paint. And a couple of them I've gone over with another colour as well, just to give it, and that one there, just to give it a little bit more natural look. So we need that to dry and we can start adding into the pen marks where we will go over the words and also add a little bit of definition into the pictures and the petals and the leaves. My printing has now dried, so it's time to add some pen. I've got a dark pink and I'm going to add that to the ice cream and perhaps a little bit of the brown again from the cone. So you don't need to go all the way round, it's just creating a little bit of definition. I'm going to add a little bit of pen in a semicircular shape just to show the lovely ice cream mounds. And it just needs to be a little highlight, a little flick of the pen. around the edges where the comb was. I think that needs a little bit more colour as well. And with my fruit bowl, I'm going to use black this time. So we already did the stalks for the cherry and I'm just going to create just a little couple of circles within that red sponge mark and I haven't got it exactly around the outside I've just gone slightly within the middle give it a little highlight And a little bit of definition on that leaf there. For my orange, I'm just going to do a couple of marks, a few dots. It's up to you what colours you use. And this one's going to be a lemon. I'm just going to practice her first with the pencil for a lemon shape. And that's how you just do a little bit of definition. It's just a tiny little flick of the pen to create something quite unique and just gives it a little bit of something to stand out. I also did my word and that has dried now. So you might be able to see on here that I've gone over a couple of times with a different colour, just overlaid, just to get, make it a little bit more realistic get some alternative shades and again we're going to use our pen I'm going to use black and where the word is overlapping with the the pictures or the stamps that you've put on I'll probably leave that out so I'm not going to do the whole letter I'm going to stop a little bit short of where there's some pretty stamping just lift the pen off. And if there's some areas where there's a little gap, you might want to add in some more paint later on. And that's the beauty of this, you can just 
have a play around. And add as you go along. Every single one as well will be totally different. So there you can see that I've just stopped a little bit, not gone over the paint that's there and also just by this leaf here. And now we can add some definition to our paint. So I'm going to do a few leaf marks, Oops, a few little few dots to be the stamens of the flowers few flicks as well. You can even draw a flower shape within the stamp as well. So that's me finished. Just really delicate flicks of the pen, a few dots, a few strokes and it just makes all of that stand out really beautifully and you can do these perhaps for Mother's Day or some cards, just have it for yourself because it's a really beautiful effect. So there's our delicate one and here's our fruit and food again. Have fun experimenting. Of course, as always, we'd love to see what you produce and information on how you can send your pictures to us are at the end of the video.